Good morning, it's Diane. It's a rainy day here in northeast Pennsylvania. It's going to rain all day and even uh, have some thunderstorms later. And I need to go to the grocery store. I need milk, but more importantly, I need thread so I can keep working on my projects. Isn't that funny? Thread is more important than milk. So I uh, want to get these things listed. I'm going. I'm finally ready to list some vintage ephemera in my shop from my flea market trips so far this year. And um, starting off with something that's already in my shop, I have one fabric bundle left, and since uh, some of the fabrics differ from bundle to bundle, I want to show you exactly what is in this last one. There are some pieces that didn't get shown in the first video because of the variety of fabrics I had. So it's tied with tulle. It has the Tiffany & Company tag on it. I just threw this fiber card in as a bonus. Every bundle got a bonus of fibers. Um, so let me just quickly show you. These are the two Cori Dantini panels. This one says Smart. And this one says, All this lovely feeds my soul. And then the fabrics that are in it are the Shepherdess. This one didn't get shown in the first video, and it's a lovely piece. <coughs> you could actually cut, cut images out of it and use them individually. <clears throat> I love this. I can't wait to use some of this in Woodland's journals. But I just have so many journal plans. Maybe in the fall I'll get to do that. This uh, pink one that looks like a lace pattern. I don't think this one was shown. It's a black bandana print. In fact, I think this was the only piece I had of that one. The Tim Holtz airmail. And this really cool one from Tim Holtz. And this one, everybody, all the bundles got this one with the typewriter on it. So that's what's in this final bundle kit, uh, fabric bundle. <clears throat> and then also, I had these bridge tally cards in my shop before, and some I must have put my um, inventory in incorrectly because Etsy said that it's. Um, out of stock, but I had one left. So it has two bridge tally uh, score pad sheets, two different score pads. And then it has, I forgot how many cards. Let me, I guess we'll count them. One, two, three. Ten cards and two score sheets. So I will reactivate this listing and we, I just have the one. Now on to the new things that I have in my shop. I have a list here so I don't leave anything out because I have quite a few listings. I have new sets of playing cards but they're vintage. I've, I've put playing cards in my shop um, different images and some of them are the same because I've had so I had so many of them that you know you'll you'll see repeats of some that have been in my shop before but there are some new ones also so there are 25 cards in this set so we have the Hershey's milk chocolate two seashell ones two different colors uh, Williamsburg Virginia this is the capital in Williamsburg and this is the governor's mansion a dog, an American Eagle, patriotic. I have several airline ones. There's Pan Am, American Airlines, Eastern Airlines, and this one I've never heard of, Sabina. It's Belgian World Airlines. We have this view of New York City with fire fireworks, and it's a Kent cigarette card. One from Virginia Slims. It's just a pretty, pretty card. Um, it's a little bit wider than the other cards, too. Just slightly. Two Magnolia cards. These are repeats. 
these two beautiful lady images and this is the last time <clears throat> excuse me this is the last time I will be um, listing these cards because I don't have a lot left and I'm saving them for me to use in journals a hyacinth tulip this one I just think this pattern on this is really really neat and I have this groovy guy but I didn't have very many of them so um, some of the kits have this there are 20 sets of cards and 10 of them have this groovy guy and 10 have the Mexican I think it's Mexican or Caribbean lady with the pretty dress and the, I think it's a fruit basket on her head or something so you either get him or you get her we have this lady some of the sets have the have a different lady with the yellow background just this wood design and this one is a Ming vase and some of the sets have um, a piece of English pottery I forgot what the name is but and then we have the folk art put the I'll put the chocolate card in front again so all this the kits look alike not that it matters I just it drives me crazy <laughs> if one looks looks different in the package I'll put that in later and then I have these fun cards that are children's playing cards I was lucky and found a box that contained several sets of cards so your images will vary they will be different so this is so you got three four of this set I don't know what the card company is but this is what the back looks like so in this set there's a turtle an owl a duck with an umbrella and a chicken with a tie this is a game of snap it's all the words all the phrases underneath have the word snap and I've never played snap I don't know how you play it this is I don't know the name of this game either but this one says seven birds and four birds and these are very old and they are bent they have some light creasing in them so just so you're aware and they're you know they're vintage looking they look old and this set is by Whitman and there's a monkey and a rabbit and a chicken and a tiger and your images like I said may vary this game I don't know what this one is either but it's got these little elf or pixies or something so they just have numbers and there's different suits four-leaf clover and a horseshoe and a heart and then there was this chipmunk game and it had each card has a different animal no card is the same so this is an armadillo and a possum and an ocelot and of course yours will if you don't get this particular set yours will vary so uh, there are 17 cards in this kit then I have six sets of vintage greeting cards so of course each set is going to be different no card is the same but there are Valentine cards in each set some of them are interactive there are get well oh, this one has the pieces missing um, Christmas I'm not sure if every set has Christmas I don't think I had six Christmas cards birthday this one is a weird texture and this one has an envelope with it but can you see that it's almost like a plastic but I don't know what that finish is and I think there's another card that ha well this is this is the other card it has the same kind of finish so that's a birthday card so there are ten different cards in each set then I have seven sets of these recipe cards from the big box of Betty Crocker recipe card library 
There are 15 cards in each set. They all have a picture, except for one of them has a menu card. Gala menus from the Betty Crocker dining room. And the rest all have these wonderful pictures. So these are great in cooking junk journals or any kind of junk journal. Just fun. Here's an unusual listing. It is that book of a cloth paper and it has dolls that you're supposed to cut out and sew together and stuff. I don't know how well they would work. You'd have to cut, if you actually want to do it, you'd have to cut white space around them and then sew next to the image. You have to have um, a seam allowance. And then you'd have to leave a portion unsewn, of course, so you could turn it right side out. But I just want them to put them in a journal like that. These, I think these would be good in a traveler's notebook. So there will be three dolls in each set, and I have four sets. So I'll just flip through them. I don't know if I'm going to list them so that you can choose a set or if they will just be random. They're both male and female dolls, more more female than male. So I already had someone request certain ones and she purchased them and then I saved some out for me to use and those are what's left. This is something I just got yesterday and I mentioned it in a video that I was doing in one of my process videos and it's Apple Crate Labels. So I will have, uh, how many sets? Four sets, and there are, each set has one of these cardstock cards. This box contains fancy apples grown and packed at Sunnybrook Fruit Farm, Dalton, Pennsylvania. So there's that, and then four of these labels. They are unused, very good shape, good size. Let me measure it for you. three quarters by about seven and a quarter so they're good size <clears throat> so like I said four labels plus the cardstock piece and I have four sets of them right yeah four then I have the last of my railroad ephemera which has been popular in the past I haven't listed it in a while because I hadn't taken stock of what I had left so here's what I have, and I haven't counted it yet. I added, threw some more pieces in, so I just want to organize everything. Like with like, so it doesn't get confusing. All right, so here's what we have. One clearance form. I had a ton of these to begin with a few years ago, and I'm, I don't have... I don't even know if I left any for myself. Uh, some are long like this and some are a little more square. But they're Erie Lackawanna Railroad Company Clearance Form A. There's one of these Railway Express Agency tickets. And it's leaving from Sayre, Pennsylvania. This is just, it's a pretty fragile piece. Railway Express Agency Incorporated so it must be attached to a crate or something, this side up. There are three, I think, yeah, three of these. These are Agent Stubbs. This one, oh, they're all from the Del Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad Company. This one says Whitney Point, New York on it, as does this one. And this one is not stamped. But <clears throat> so there are three of them. Two of these, New York, Ontario, and Western Railway, Motive Power Department Supply Orders. So these are supply orders. There are two freight bills, Lehigh Valley Railroad Company, and it says freight bill. 
and they're kind of, they're not very translucent, but they're kind of thin. And I've had these. They came, they came with the, these, and some of them were stapled together. So this is probably, well, this is the last of all of these that I'm going to offer. The agent stubs I have extra of, so I'm offering those separately also. So there are four sheets of this tissue with the really, really cool writing on it. And they're from the Erie Lackawanna Railroad Company, and they're dated 1968. Number six has right over opposing has right over opposing trains on track one from Elmhurst crossover to Toby Hanna crossover. <laughs> four of those, and I think there's four of these also. The Lehigh Valley Railroad Company um, record of train orders. So this is two sheets. Some, most of them are separated, but a couple of them were still attached, and I left them that way. So there's four of those sheets. So that's what's in the Railroad Ephemera pack. And then I also have the agent stubs that I showed that have Whitney Point, New York on them. There are five stubs in each set, and there are... Seven. Seven sets of these stubs. And then, Vintage Ephemera. I don't even remember what's in here. I've just been putting stuff in. So I'll have to count it and put it in the listing. Here's a game card from Let's Make a Deal. And also a couple pieces of money from Let's Make a Deal. These are, these are probably not considered vintage. They are library card, you know, the catalog card blanks. So you would take it apart and then take off this edging that's perforated and then you would have your catalog card right there. But I left them together and you can do with them what you would like. Each set has a recipe from a vintage recipe box that was taken out of a magazine or off a, a box. This one is from a box. It says famous Nabisco stuffing. There is a rose note card. They will be different colors, and it's a little bit embossed, and it comes with an envelope. And this one is gorgeous. A gift for you. Kind of a silvery. And a vintage tabbed card from a recipe box. I love the... It looks like I used Distress Ink on it, but I did not. And a vintage rest, uh, index card. Everybody gets a vintage handwritten recipe, which I love. And there are two of these little things. They're different, but they're both from the American Legion. They came together. This is an honor roll certificate, and this is something for a raffle. I got these two little things from um, Rolodex. A little Rolodex that I found. So there's one with just the name and address form and one with a tab on it. One vintage postcard. Of course, they all vary. Some are written on with a stamp. This one happens to be dated 1936. A couple of the children's playing cards. This one has a little tear in it because they are vintage cards. Um, two of these kind of recipe cards from the Betty Cracker recipe box. Two parcel post labels. These funky things from the current memo pad box. So there's an ink bottle there and a antique phone and a shopping list with a grocery bag. Two, three vocabulary cards, English. Oh, there's another. Let's make a deal. I must have forgotten I put one in. So you get two of them. You get one a receipt from Meredith Bottling Works and one from Walter Chaffee Hardware in Ulster, Pennsylvania. An Uno score sheet, a bridge score sheet, and another bridge score sheet from a different pad. 
a vintage book illustration. Two sheets. Is it two? Nope, just, oh, this is one sheet. Logarithms of cosines. So it's from a trigonometry book. This is a vintage song sheet from a book. This is from that um, book I brought home from a very recent flea market haul. It's got a kind of a shiny texture, but you can write on it. Weed and Company Wholesale Hardware. It's kind of like a shopping list here. These two sheets, <laughs> memo from A.R. Cohen, and some Uncle Wiggly game. These are from a newer game, and these are from a very vintage game. Two vintage flashcards. I don't think... I'll have to check. I don't think I put three in each. So, I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Maybe I gave you three of these blue ones. But I'll have to look in the other packs. Uh, you get one of the Whitney Point Agent Stubs. A ledger sheet. This is a um, billhead, it's called. A recipe page from a vintage recipe book. And two pages from vintage children's books. So that's it. That is what will be listed in my shop as Vintage Ephemera. Um, it's going to take me a while. I still have to photograph everything and then get everything listed, but I hope to have it up today. In fact, by the time you watch this video, it will be listed because I won't upload the video till I have everything listed. So I don't know why I'm going through all that. So now I guess I better go get my groceries before the thunderstorms hit. Thanks, everybody, for taking a look, and I hope you come on over to my shop and just check everything out. Bye-bye.